Hello, I am Elanian, and welcome to my defense of the FA as a light fighter. This is the first FA mission, and we're about to launch it. If you remember, we're um, doing a patrol with Spirit. So, Epe, first reason is good. Good field of view. We've got a very low cockpit, you can see on either side of it. It's been wait, nice views. Well, where? In fact, see, plenty of, plenty of view space. Of course, most of you want a good view in front, and that cockpit's a bit high, but never mind. Second reason, the Epe is gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. It is a fantastic fighter. Anyway, I should probably stop trying to have a collision with my wingman and show you the real reasons the Epe is fantastic. So, let's hit the autopilot yet another one. Ah, uh, jump. Okay, it's the jump point. It's from that one, as far as I'm concerned. Enemy ship ahead! Hi, Captain! Okay, attacking force here are Drakhai medium fighters. Which are terrible, so it's not a bad thing to start off with, really. As I did say one thing, that the epic don't fly straight at the opposition. The afterburner slide is an excellent approach technique because you won't get hit doing it and it allows you to use the epic's firepower. The next thing to note, if you think of the particle cannon as a mass driver that fires more slowly, you are not going to get the best out of the epic because that's really not how you're supposed to use the particle cannon. Particle Cannon is a laser with the damage output of a neutron gun. I need your help. You want to fight at long range, if you can, or with the enemy not pointing at you is always a good method, but... Long range. This does mean that you might be a bit less accurate. This is my first attempt at this mission, I didn't leave the court. And you can see a lot of the time I make the standard newbie mistake of believing the ITTS a bit too much. Not all the time, but the ITTS doesn't quite get the projection correctly if correct if the uh, enemies are afterburner, which they are a lot of the time in this mission, especially the Psarthas of the next nav. So I don't always hit them, but when they're not afterburner, you can use the ITTS to keep the enemy at range. And not get hit. You'll notice that my FA has taken no damage so far. In on the Corvette. This might you think might be a bit difficult for an FA because it's you know fairly heavily on a target, but the FA's got a lot of firepower. Those particle cannons fire quite quickly and they do a lot of damage. So if you just dodge around a bit to get into range, start opening fire and let the dark dumb fire off, but then even need it. Bang! No damage to anything except shields, one corvette down. On to the next nav point. Spirit, unfortunately, is not quite as good as uh, I am, so she's not getting some damage, but there you go. Uh, this is definitely doubly unfortunate because, of course, one of the uh, ways that the AI works is if it's taking a certain amount of damage and it's in a fight, it will start asking you for help. So, we'll get very spammed on our radio yeah. quite soon. Uh, by the way, I am pressing the 1 button here to make an attack repeatedly, and it was just not registering, I have no idea why. So, onto the Sartha, the Kalathi equivalent of the Epe in some respects, except that they've got neutron guns instead of particle cannons. So, here, we're trying to keep them at range and blast them. With them facing away again is as good as in range. Uh, beginning to learn about leading more than the ITTS says, but not all the time, so uh, then we're about to come up to uh, an extremely boring section of me not leading enough. On, I think, the next fighter. I need your help! Now, is it me, or does Spirit sound far more like Paladin? when she's calling for help. 
Oh, can I, need I need your help, laddie. I need your help. I need your help. Repeatedly. Now that there's four Sarthra at this snap point, the three of them went after me, and she still needs my help. Well, tough. Actually, the real reason is that she hates me, as you'll discover when uh, we finish this guy off and I stop not needing enough. Part of the problem here is that I'm being suckered in by the FA's maneuverability. Almost every other fighter could not turn fast enough to keep up with a Sartha on full afterburners. But because the FA is just so good, I can do this. But I shouldn't be doing this, because there's not actually going to hit doing this. What I should be doing is turning away and coming back from a different angle. I need your help! Which, yeah, there you go, I've figured this out now. So now we've got a better approach, again, better angle, and a couple of hits there. I recognise that this doesn't produce the best video ever, because a lot of the fighting is off-screen, hidden under the FA's nose. I need your help. So perhaps it's not the best fighter to let's play Wing Commander in, but it is fantastically good fun to fly. Anyway, she still needs our help, so we better get over there. Unfortunately, Epe has pretty good after the lost two there, it's not quite as good as the third. And here it is. Now, I didn't get off the after to keep that rapidly enough, otherwise we might have finished this much faster. You'll notice that this video is substantially longer than Ivanton's video of the same mission. He took about five and a half minutes, whereas I'm taking about eight and a half. Although well, part of that is me shutting off the FA at the start. Most of it's just because I'm fighting to get a much longer range, so it's harder to hit. On the other hand, I don't take any damage. Except, you know, Spirit shooting me from behind, because she needs our help. Um, presumably because she really, really doesn't like me and wants to shoot me. So I tried to not get between Spirit and the target after this, because I'm thinking, this has gone really well, and I can't do this video. But there we go, we're done. That's that's the last enemy. It's back, back to home now, back to the Concordia. I always love the, the going home music. Some, a lot of people are talking a fair about the, the music, and the torpedo lock-on music is the one that they they tickled out as the one they can still remember. For me, it was the coming home music. And there's this one. So triumphal. It's fantastic. And there we are, we're done. Seven kills, and not a scratch on my fighter. Clear to land. Uh, who said the FA was made of paper? Well, I guess it doesn't matter it's made of paper if I don't get hit, I suppose, but, yeah, whatever. Epe defended.